Then, when things were dying down, shortly before midnight, we discovered another conversation we hadn't seen or heard before. Here, Epps took a different tone with Big Talaska. Then he leaned in and whispered something he apparently did not want to say out loud. We're not here to fight. We're here to Ray Epps is back. And this is big. Laura Logan and Baked Alaska bring us a new video of Ray Epps that highly suggests that he was in fact a government asset who was purposely inciting a riot and leading to an endless propaganda honeypot for the Democrat state media to use against their opponents for years to come. You'll want to see this one. Ray Epps, the guy who's on video telling people to enter the Capitol on January 5th and 6th, but up to this point somehow avoided charges and was defended as a victim by both Democrats and the media. I find it odd that you all are defending one of the people who assaulted the Capitol. Defending who? Ray Epps. I, I, I literally have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Boy, here we go. Mr. Epps does not work for the FBI. Mr. Epps is not an FBI agent. He basically says his life has been turned into hell by this conspiracy theory because they've turned on him and tried to blame it on him. Apparently, all that he did is when the FBI put his name out as somebody who was there, he got in touch with them in a hurry in order to try to tell exactly what he knew and what he didn't. And for that, he's been made into a sacrificial lamb. And the entire conspiracy, one guy who showed up at Donald Trump's urging, uh, is now being blamed on him. Weird. They absolutely despise anybody having to do with January 6th, down to regular people who just walked around inside the Capitol and had the full force of the law thrown at them. Everyone except for Ray Epps, which, like I said, makes no sense because he's literally the only guy on video inciting a riot and telling people to enter the Capitol. Think about it. Several far-left partisan Democrat DAs are currently trying to imprison former President Trump, who also happens to be the current sitting Democrat president president's biggest opponent going into the 2024 election for supposedly inciting a riot and telling people to go to the Capitol, despite the fact he told them to march peacefully. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Which is exactly what 120,000 people did. It was mostly peaceful, but of course those standards don't apply to the Democrats opponents. But somehow the guy who is actually on video inciting a riot and telling people to enter the Capitol and who literally admitted to orchestrating it all is treated as a victim. Weird. He did eventually get a minor charge for the cameras, but have no doubt he's getting a deal similar to Jamal Bowman, where he gets a slap on the wrist that's later expunged for all of his hard work to save democracy. That brings us to this latest footage, which I think leaves no doubt that Ray Epps was an asset and that our government orchestrated January 6th. The implications of all this are scary, but it's just another sign that things are heating up and it's time to prepare. With My Patriot Supply offering $200 off right now, it's time to prepare. Head on over to preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up so you will have peace of mind that you're prepared. So Laura Logan released this mini documentary today with Baked Alaska, who did go to prison simply for being at the Capitol that day, showing Ray Epps saying something that somehow went unnoticed until now. Maybe it's because you're my neighbor. You <laughs> then he leaned in and whispered something he apparently did not want to say out loud. We're not here to fight, man. We're here to, we're here to storm. <laughs> I'm not kidding. We're here to storm the Capitol. Hell yeah. All right. Have a, have a good night. Be safe. Be safe, brother. That one moment changed what we knew about Ray Epps that night when he whispered storm the Capitol before it had happened. What? Yes, that's right. You just heard Ray Epps admit that he was inciting people to quote, storm the Capitol. One, and I'm not seeing a lot of people talk about this, but this contradicts his obvious lies on 60 Minutes to explain away his admission that he orchestrated it. He told us that's when he sent this text to his nephew. Conspiracists saw it as the true confession of an agent provocateur. I was in front with a few others. I also orchestrated it. Explain this to me. I was boasting to my nephew. I helped get people there. I, I was directing people to the Capitol that morning. You know how this sounds. I know exactly how it sounds. I've been scolded by my wife for using that word. I shouldn't have used that word. Weird.
This right here proves that he always intended to incite a riot and to enter the Capitol. Now, that's big, but there's something even more interesting about Ray Epps telling Baked Alaska that his plan was to storm the Capitol. Storm the Capitol. Where have we heard that? Who else have we heard say that phrase after January 6th? Everyone! It was broadcast across the nation. Of supporters of President Trump stormed the U.S. Capitol building. Thousands storming the Capitol. This mob that stormed the Capitol. Stormed the Capitol. And stormed the Capitol. Stormed the Capitol. Stormed the U.S. Capitol building. Stormed the United States Capitol. Wow, that's that's weird, man. That's weird. We've heard the phrase storm the Capitol repeated endlessly by both the Democrats and our state media. So it's more than a little odd that Ray Epps of all people is uttering that phrase just before the January 6th riot. Everything about Ray Epps is more than a little odd. There's some other weird things about Ray Epps that come up in this video, but I want you to go over there and check it out. I think it's only about 17 minutes long. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments if this is a smoking gun or just a coincidence. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one.